Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta? And those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Welcome et bienvenue to Hello, Bonjour, Alberta. I'm Marc Lalonde. And I'm Anne Boiteau. Your host for this episode. Did you know that while human beings have no longer have uh, house calls, pets and other animals can have medical services brought right to them wherever they are? So you go right ahead and practice your turtle noises, and we'll find out more from our guests today. <coughs> we have with us Dr. Jeff Dan and Lucy Vivi. And also? don't forget Cola. And Cola, Cola. who uh, together, I don't know what Cola's role is, but we'll find out, I guess, yes. operate a mobile vet service in Alberta. The only mobile vet service in Alberta mm -hmm. currently, I understand. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start by finding out a little bit more about each of you. So we'll start maybe with you, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, wh what's your background? Where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally a maritimer. So, yeah, came from the Maritimes. I uh, did my internship, so I went after vet school, uh, which was in PEI. I uh, went down to Florida, did some extra training for a year and a half, and then I came to Alberta and been here for the last 17 years. So, that's where I've been. So, you, you established your practice here? <laughs> yes, I worked uh, for a couple of clinics for a year, and then I started my own when I was 29. So. so I'm how really did old. that how did that happen? How did yeah, you end did up in Alberta of all places? Oh, in I North was gonna America? say, how did you end up as a vet? Like <laughs> did you always know you were going to be a vet? You know, my, my, my dad actually took us to my brother and I to a psychologist back in nineteen eighty to for occupational preferences and we would do all these tests and he said I liked animals and they popped all the numbers and said, Yeah, you might make a good vet so it was that or the military, so. <laughs> 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 so I think I picked the right one. Yeah, it yeah like see? Good. Sounds Not like regretting your choice. No. No, from no. the look of Cola there, he seems really happy and relaxed. He's pretty content. He's a rescue dog, so he's happy now, so. And you picked Alberta, why? Economy, okay. that was 1997, so it was kind of time to come back. Didn't want to start a family in the States or Florida. So we picked Calgary and it's been great. No. Mm. Super. And Lucie? Oui, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. Where are you from and how did you end up here? Oh, uh, I'm from Montreal, in the neighborhood of Montreal. And like Jeff, I went to the vet school in Montreal, but then I went to Florida also where <laughs> I did my master's degree. I think we just discovered that uh, we have a common path there. Mm -hmm. Went to Florida and I did a master's degree when my husband was doing his residency. And then we moved to Indiana because my husband was teaching at the vet school at Purdue University. And uh, finally, we moved to Calgary because he had an opportunity at the vet school in Calgary. So we came here. And um, should I say also, I have this uh, daughter with special needs. So we were looking for social services for her and the Midwest was not the best place. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> so we are okay, very happy to uh, to have moved here. So you've been a, a, a vet here in the, in, the, in the Calgary area for quite some time. Um, well, we moved in 2009. Oh. So it's not so no, long. No, it's not so long at all. And I started by working part-time uh, for Jeff. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind yeah. of how you met. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you operate the only vet mobile service in Alberta. Complete. How did that complete one? Yeah, so like we have a full functioning practice that can come to your home. So so how did that come about? Whose idea was that? That was Lucy. 
<laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> because in the state it's very common, but there was none in Alberta. And uh, mm -hmm. for me to do house call, you know, the goal of doing house call is to have the animal comfortable at home. And also for the convenience for the owner, but especially for the animal being, you know, at home and being in their environment and not stress. Well, I didn't see the point to go with your stethoscope and do the exam and say, sorry, you need an X-ray, you have to go to another clinic. So the package deal was, okay, bring the hospital to your place so we can do everything there. We can do the blood work, we can have the result, then we can go on for an X-ray if we need to, we can go on for an ultrasound. We need, we can do the diagnostic and we can do the treatment right away. We don't have to come back with the result later so, on. So what kind of a vehicle have you got? Uh, it, it must a be huge. A cool one. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> a cool one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a mobile uh, unit that was uh, especially made in the state for different organizations. So they do all the, uh, for instance, the FBI units, they do all the MOI units, they do the Red Cross unit and they do some veterinarians unit as well. So it's a prefabricated Custom made specifically for vets. Yes, so but, uh, it's, everything is in it. There's a company that already does that, so you didn't have to design it. No, no, yeah. it would be way too <laughs> complex <laughs> to design. What about getting the permits from Alberta? They had never seen that before, right? So. Yeah, she did all the hard work. Little yeah. tough, <laughs> eh? <laughs> little tough. I, I think there was a, it's never easy to be the first one. Yeah. So yeah. I, I had to go through that. Uh, to go and try to sell the idea and it was pretty difficult but uh, our professional organization was kind of reluctant but finally understood you know the the goal and to see that we were doing very good medicine and you know we were going good surgeries and things like that so um, so to sell the idea on paper was more difficult mm -hmm. when they saw the unit than they were sold. Understood. So, so how, how long did it take? Two, to get your to, permits, to get your and permits get going, from the time yeah. you started to the time you were able to. Well, it took move about forward. six months. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then you had to order the unit, or or did they bit hiss and the whole works? Yep. Sounds kind of pricey. <laughs> yeah, it's a little pricey. Yeah. Yes, eh? So but mind you, it. any clinic.